Hello, hello. Welcome to Whippet Sundays with me tonight. We got Commodore. Good morning. Uh, it's all the team we got for tonight. Uh, pe other people probably celebrating uh, Easter with their families tonight, which is what this day is about. We're here. What this whole channel is about, right? Family. Yes, sir. Family. And I got a thing for that. <laughs> Times three. Family. 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 It's all about family. I dropped a thousand dollars on helping my family, so. Yep, yep. Well, it doesn't look like Amazon's gonna have my scissors, bro. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Guggenheim is what I'm looking for. Tonight is episode 95. We've been doing this for a while now. 95. Uh, AK in the house. Hello, wall. Good morning. Yo, yo, yo. And I got the red, red sculpted details panned up on the hips on the Thor Buster. Let me finish this up for Hasbro announces one. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got to get a Hulk Buster before they'll even entertain the idea of a Thor Buster. Yeah. I think we're good for a couple of years. Oh, the, and they're like a, in the rumor mill that we're getting the the first Thor Buster comic book sale. I'll, uh, I'll send it back to you and you can do a, a comparison review how much they're sick. Because <laughs> they're not going to do the shoulder mod like this. They're going to use those little tiny shoulders. They might need a, uh, like a new shoulder pad or something. Yeah. Straight up repaint. <clears throat> I did get my stuff from the Four Horsemen, though. Oh. I, I noticed they made an announcement, something about shipping. They did. They apologized for not shipping. That's, so, uh, we're going to do a sale. Did anybody ship that stuff? Oh, I thought you did. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah they said they they were expecting like numbers are arbitrary they was like i was expecting a hundred sales and we wound up getting almost the entire stock liquidated so we've been shipping out they shipped out like a thousand orders when they sent the message out and they still had at least two more weeks but i'll tell you when i got the ship notification from fedex they sent me a text message and said hey you got a package coming the next day it was here and i didn't get a notification from four horsemen until the day it arrived he's like hey you got a package in now hey you got a package out for delivery hey your package has been delivered <laughs> boom, boom, boom. i was like oh all right on all right on but yeah i did i got i got ye old uh, goblin for my boy derek and uh i got two skellies i'm gonna replace one of the the capes because their cape isn't up to I have huge finger quotes around my high standards but I can't get it to sit right it's kind of like a stiff material so I'm going to get one of my more flowy materials we got the name of Hilda in the house we got uh, Kenny Potter what's up guys yo 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 and those of me in homework you, uh it's no surprise, I'm still working on the Thor Buster. <laughs> I'll make sure everything is nice and smooth, clean painted. I got the the uh, sculpt these red areas on the hips, had primed them up, smooth them out, smooth them out, primed them, smooth them again, primed them, then I hit up silver, then with the red. Now I'll be putting the, some gold on them tonight. And we're getting into the home stretch of it. Just make sure I'm getting the sculpt as smooth as I want it to be. In some few areas, it's they don't really show up until I put paint on it. And I was like, no, that's not acceptable. Careful. Sorry. Careful. Yeah. 
It's like, I like my stuff to be smooth. You know what? So I'm not going to be happy until it's smooth. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Yes. And looking to the other side of the upper torso done. It's like, yeah, see like the, where it's going to be. <laughs> You know, I'm trying to figure out how to buy these scissors. And they're like, oh, get this coupon. Oh, do this, do this, man. I just want to buy it. Let me buy it. And I did work on cleaning up my workspace. And I got these nice paint racks from Amazon. Two racks is not enough, though. I need, I need probably, like, probably two more. <laughs> oh, dang. Coming a professional enterprise here. What's the other word for it? Went crazy with them. They won't hold the big bottles to me of paint, but they will, will hold the like uh, the smaller bottles and the Mister Color bottles. What about the new bottles? Is that one of the ones you sell? I'm sorry, I was looking away. Do what now? The new bottles that you're using to put your oh, they're yeah. they're they're made similar to like a. Like these pro acryl bottles, just a little taller. So they, they'll fit in your little rack? They fit just fine. So the diameter's good. So I'm actually going through and actually transferring some older testers paint into these. And I got all bearings put in there so I can put my shakers in. Really get a shake on them. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your boy. Because hmm. when testers paint gets old, that paint lid is near impossible to get off unless you heat really heat it up. That's why I'm like uh, going to transfer stuff into those bottles. I was happy I found while I was doing that I found some more testers flesh tones. I was like, yay. I thought I was nearly out. And I was able to put together uh, so I got two partial bottle here, a whole bottle here, and a Start putting the rest. I have put combine three bottles into this one. Part leftover bottles. So I got plenty of warm testers, warm flesh right now. I did experiment with some pro acryls to make a new flesh tone mix, and it looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of testers in it too, though. The light flesh tone. It looks like I'm going to be making a Count Nefaria cape. You know, I still haven't made a cape since I got that wire. I want a new wire. What was it, 600 feet of it? 200 feet of it. Two hundred feet. So should I just send this spider to you so that you can do a giveaway? So what now? So should, should I just send that spider to you so that you can do a giveaway for the channel? Oh, we can do do that. We got we need to set up a giveaway because we've crossed the five thousand mark. Uh, no thanks to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to everybody out there watching. Does anybody want to? Anybody be interested in getting a? One of my custom figures. YouTube has apparently decided to quit recommending any of my stuff. Uh, 
And it's been on, been, they've been doing that for a while. It's just now it's just gotten to a point where it's like ridiculously bad. Ridiculous. Dang it. And their tech support is a joke. I still don't get notifications when people comment on my videos. But on the bell icon, like when you log into YouTube, don't even get don't don't get notifications there. But if I go into YouTube Studio, I can see them. I'll comment, but I don't get if somebody replies to my reply to them, I'll get a notification on it on the bell icon. But not from the initial comment. But I don't see the comment, their reply to my reply in the studio. <laughs> it is so broken. Working as intended, you mean? <laughs> They're like, oh, you don't get notifications if the comment held for review. Held for review. Oh. I'm glad we could help. <laughs> that's, not, there. that's not what I said. <laughs> it's all comments, you goose. Uh, of course I know they're, you're not going to get a notification for a, help, a comment help for a review. But the people working for YouTube support actually knows less about how YouTube works than most people uploading to YouTube. That is, I feel like that is a very fair assessment. When they were like false flagging my streams for forever. Oh, we see that you can actually mark that. Uh, you got the ability to like say this video is like meets all standards and stuff like that. Yeah, that's only on regular uploads. That's not how live streams work. You don't have that option on live streams. <laughs> it's like, do you know how YouTube works? Of course we know. Uh, of course, of, of course we know. What's he talking about? Uh, the analytics is broken too. Like if you uh, like the interview with uh, with Jason from Spiro Toys. Yeah. When you go into the studio, it says I have like where my 170 views on it. You click on the analytics, it says I got 41 views. And that's where they adjust where you, your payouts for your for your monetization. So they're cutting my views down to a third of what they should be in the MLX system. It really does sound like working as intended. Yep. And that's what they said when I brought that up before. It's working as intended. So to cut my views by a third what you pay me <laughs> which I don't care about the you know, I don't make anything on YouTube it's like $490 for a year <laughs> for work <laughs> that's, that's not the, that's the whole point it's just to cut the community thing I like getting out there talking to people but now they're not even getting my voice getting our stuff out there where we can build the community like we were doing it's slow going now. <clears throat> Excited that my niece is coming up for a visit. She'll be here on the 6th. My uh, my uh, my uh, attending rate might get choppy. Although I missed last Sunday, and I was talking to Hulk Smash, and he was like, "Oh yeah, Cannon and and Olds was talking about that on the last live stream." I was like, "Wait, what? What? What live stream?" <laughs> yeah, you had like, the, one, you... the one they had last night. I was like, "Monday night." He's like. Sunday, man. Sunday. Where were you? <laughs> I was like, oh, 
<laughs> yeah, you had, you were in, had your days mixed up last week. No, I, yeah, I was in complete la la land. I don't know what. The, I told my wife, I was like, I missed, I missed the stream. She's like, you were sitting in your room. <laughs> I was like, oh, sitting in my room. I figured you just sit up. You had something to do, and, or not feeling well, or I didn't want to bother you. Just, just out over here, just lost in the sauce, man. Just do, 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 do. Not a care in the world. What a loser! It, I, it took him like three whole minutes of explaining to me that I was, I was off. <laughs> Yeah, he just wanted to talk to you about the, the project you're working with him with. He's wanting to do yeah, some yeah, paint yeah, work right. before he sends it to you. I'm talking about old Zeusy boy here. Yeah. I thought I was going to be able to get it so that he don't have to uh, send me the figure. Now, I can send you my mine if you need the dimensions for the chest no everything is like super super stretchy like super duper stretchy so i'm sure it'll be able to uh Uh, AK is saying, uh, now that I'm mainly uploading the Rumble, you should work on getting the live streams going too. Uh, on Rumble Live, Rumble Studios will let you multi-stream to YouTube, Rumble, Twitter, etc. Hmm. I use StreamYard, this thing is that, and you got, it's kind of a pain in the butt to set up a live stream on Rumble. You gotta go set up like your live stream key and all this and that and... Put one teeny tiny little dab of glue here just to hold this so that it looks like it should. Just a teeny tiny little. I think I got all my reviews and customs all scheduled out for one rumble for this week, finish out this week to get caught back up. The uh, YouTube broke the connection between rumble and YouTube. YouTube used to allow you to set up and rumble the, let rumble, uh, take your content all upload to rumble. But rumble was starting to get popular to actually be a competitor. And so YouTube went, Nah, we're not going to let you do that no more. Apparently the government's suing Apple, Amazon, and Google because of monopolization. It's bad for business. And then they go around and then break where their competitor is. <laughs> Uh, AK said Rumble Studio is free. Let's check it out. I'm already signed up for a year on this, and it is dirt cheap. Comparative to what I was paying, I was told I canceled my my subscription to StreamYard. Their con they contact me, which was expensive. It was like twenty five dollars a month for what you get. You're getting. Uh, you only get one extra person you can put on your account and you only stream three services and it's not HD, it's 720p. You're like, if you stay, we'll give it to you for $100 a year or $10 a month and it for almost exactly what you have. For, have every service you have currently with us. The only difference is, is the little stream yard logo in the, in the top corner. It's not the big giant duck. If it was the giant duck, I would have done it. 
<laughs> what? what? They have a giant duck logo. What? Just Lord. I can turn that on and you see the, the giant duck. Uh, no, it's gone. No duck for you. Oh, my iron's in the way. Well, I think I, oh, I, del I, think I deleted the duck as soon as I would get the paper. Now we're applying vinyl. Turn the loose. There's no reason for StreamYard to be 720p when every streaming service does HD. This may, in fact, not work out. These seams from having to redo it, paint it. I might wind up vinyling my ironing board here. My favorite sculpting tool. <laughs> It's quite worn. <laughs> I have a lot more. It's just this is the one I like to use. Something to be said about the things you're accustomed to. Yep. I use it for everything. The, the paint of the seams right now with it so using it as a scraper Okay, asking, do I collect the WWE Superstars line? Uh, I just opened up Andre the Giant, and he's amazing. Best one yet. I got the Chase variant of um, of the Superstars line one. Got the red trunks. I walked in Target, and they had, I noticed like all the different ones on there were like uh, yellow trunks, yellow trunks, yellow trunks, red trunks. Only one on there, and uh, it almost looked like somebody actually even took it off the shelf and looked at it and slid, laid it back down. I was like, huh. I looked it up. Yep, that's a Chase variant. I'm taking that home. Some of those bob irons in my Mr. Color Gold. Oh. Yeah, all right. I dropped it. Ain't good for nobody involved. Sorry about the iron in the way, boys. Yeah. 
get that little corner down. Much, much better. It's so much smoother. I'm sorry, you guys probably can't see what I'm doing. Huh? Nope. All we see is uh, the human figure. It's super delicate. I, I can't. I gotta have it up close. I, I can't. I don't want to mess this up. My apologies. That's all right. I'm... Well, it took me forever to. Well, I used to do everything like up close to my chest, paint, grind, everything. <laughs> to break that habit, so it can actually be filmed. Again, <laughs> <clears throat> I'm pretty good about keeping it on the camera, but like I said, this right here is it's for Hulk Smash. I'm, I'm not. I don't want to chance it. Baby, treat daddy right. Hunts that one thing I would never, I wouldn't do again. Like all these spikes uh, snipped off with those uh, model snips not do that again because the cut a little too low so it made like a little divot that's what causes me like to do so much sanding i need to find a brush where i can do that Johnny Ray Hubbard. Any idea when we'll start seeing good custom capes for Alondra or Lady Mandarin? I would assume like the soft goods guys are going to be start working on replacements for all of those. Uh, only thing I've seen so far is like the Mandarin, the Mandarin. What am I thinking with the Magneto? Yeah, you know, Harker's got one for the new Magneto. Yeah, that's the only thing that I've seen so far. And I'm sure Harker's going to end up making capes for those, too. He has to get the figures first, though. He wants yeah, to... he's very, yeah, he's very precise. He wants a figure in hand so he can do proper measurements and stuff. When I posted my Magic G.I. Joe custom figures, and in the middle of it was uh, Dr. Mindbender had that Kate, Kate replacement Kate Parker made. That was one of the first questions I got. Where can I get that? Nowhere. Uh, you'll have to Where? check with Parker. Uh, Parker Customs, see if he's going to make any more. Where's my scissors? Oh. 
Camera was set to PAL on, instead of NTCSE. I was like, why? Turn my brightness down a little bit. Definitely looking forward to getting that new She-Hulk. That looks nice. I know you're not interested in the She-Hulk more than Iron Man figures, but I like it. it's we've been needing to update at She-Hulk for a long time. We got the just get one though, like just just get one. But it was the Disney Plus one. No, 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 no. Savage She Hulk. Oh, that's been years ago. Bro, we ain't. I, I've been waiting on stuff for decades. Savage She Hulk was. It was based on that gray She Hulk, Hulk and it was not really that good. The articulation's kind of poor on it. And uh, based on a horrible storyline, too. Uh, Johnny Race, I hope he does. So you might try try doing uh, custom mythic legions of any kind. The there's a lot. Of, I I don't work on. I don't collect mythic legions. I got one currently, and I got one on pre order. The one I ordered was the second version of the the headless horseman and the the uh, magical green flat fire. The fire's green and uh, purple color scheme. Mainly because it looks like Lord Pumpkin from Ultraverse. Because um, anybody knows I'm a big Ultraverse fan. <laughs> you never would have guessed. And I do have a the Grim, Wells Grim Reapers on pre-order. Well, they're Skeleton Warriors, but you can take all the armor off of it and make it into a standard Grim Reaper. Uh, didn't Harker make you... A, Custom Reaper. Oh yeah, yeah. He uh, he he did a one-off for me. The uh, a robe and a scythe on yep. on a head. He showed me. Oh, and Johnny, Ray, those are two I'm looking forward to the most too. Is the uh, the Model Twenty and She Hulk. Hopefully, the next wave of these. We'll get a Mandarin. We are in desperate need of a Mandarin. It's like it's ridiculously like way overdue. 
and I'll be right back. He said he'd be right back, so uh guess who's in charge now? Haha. <laughs> it's still him. I'm not in charge of anything. There was this one fleeting time where I had uh I was in charge and it was fleeting. It was fun while I left. I'm back. Dang. I mean, we didn't do anything. <laughs> Different tourists. How y'all doing? Doing good. How's everybody in the chat today? They're having a good day. And I'm getting ready to do something that's not uncommon for me to do is Nearly finished custom, changed my mind, redoing some stuff. <laughs> what is that? Also is... Oh, that's why. That is bent. <laughs> So these, uh, I got looking at these uh, forearms on the out, uh, warpath. It's the bone right here. They over exaggerate it, and it looks weird. So I was wanting to get rid of it. Oh, the tutorials is finally got them a long shot for six dollars at Ross. My, Custom ghost right figure is almost done. Nice. Which uh, which rider are you working on? I'm on, I'm on a go out on a limb and assume that it's Mr. Ray's. And his uncle. The man, the myth, the legend, Hulk Smash. How's it going, guys? Hey, hey, hey. You're just in time to see me completely. Screw up your... My thing? Yeah. You can watch me saying off the, all the paintwork I did on the forearm because I said I'm not happy with something that's on the factory sculpt. <laughs> oh, you mean, oh, you mean you're not sending down that uh, the, the Thor buster in the background? 
Oh, wait, I got it too. I, got, I just put some paint on it before you got hopped on. I actually did sand it off when I started. I was sanding, resanding some parts, put another coat of, after I got smooth when I wanted it, yeah. and put a coat of gold on. Don has like sent it to me already. But, uh, it had some molding oh. defects on the on the seam lines. Oh, really? Yeah. I had like really get into them and sand them down smooth. And I had issues too where I used those snips to cut off those spikes. They went too deep on some spots, so I had to fill in or uh, sand them out or fill them in. That looks great. Jeffrey Torres, I thought was working on Johnny Blaze the entire time and I realized that stand catch. <laughs> I still need a chamber arm and jacket, but it's almost done for the most part. The uh, chamber arms, uh, arms plug right into the shoulders and that feet in the long shot. No modifications. You just heat and pop them on. That's what I use for uh, Rafferty. Uh, what am I working on? <laughs> I forgot. Well, you're like, standing down that poor man's clavicle. Uh, and so, so that I'm going to redo the uh, around the collar piece. Uh -huh. I want a, a tighter collar and said more, more, or it's got like an open neck, kind of like Superman. I so said I want to do a closer collar. And I'm going to, instead of being red, I'm going to have gray up top. The open collar looks good, though. I know. It does. It's, it's, I, I think with, with uh, more modern styling, I like it a little bit better with, with the closed collar. Yeah. No, I hear you. That's your baby, man. You, you know what's best. Find the right styrene rod. Yeah. Oh, no. <clears throat> Is it considered a holiday tomorrow in uh, in the U.S.? No, uh, Easter's not recognized as a holiday. Yeah, because it all be. depends if you work for, uh, uh, I guess, government, uh, stuff like that, it's usually closed. But I mean, regular regular uh, jobs, it's not, Monday is not considered a holiday. Oh, they took it, as a, they took it away as a federal holiday, too. Yeah. Good thing is, well, not for me right now because I'm not working, but I mean, my company uh, is what probably... Like my brother works for uh, uh, the other, the next city over uh, transit. I work for this one, and only mine is. They call it a working stat where we would work, and uh, you get obviously it's like you're getting if you were to work for a stat, you get double time, right? But mm -hmm. for us, they call it a working stat where we're getting paid for the stat plus we're getting the day uh as a holiday so it's actually three times the pay which isn't bad no well um, johnny uh, what i did uh, i actually filled in the pin holes so i don't really didn't, don't need the penis arms i do like to sculpt on those arms they're a little more bulky they, they did come out Nice for saber tooth. Someone's <laughs> frustrated. Yeah, I lied to you. You remember how I said I was probably done today? <laughs> I just took two giant steps back. Giant steps back. All right. Let's see. 
bitch. But I learned something, so it's not all gold. Not a whole loss. Take your time, buddy. I'm in no rush. <clears throat> uh, is it past my bedtime? Holy crap. 9.46. Well, 9 o'clock is the bedtime, so... Well, we started at nine, so. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a yes, no matter what. The boy's already got his bath, so I know I'm behind. Speaking of getting a bath, I bought a new toothbrush, and man, I must say I really like it. So Can it? Cheapo Depot, soft bristled Colgate toothbrush. It's got a, like a, a spear tipped head on it. Mm -hmm. Pointy, pointy head. Oh, look, you know you're old when you're excited about your toothbrush. <laughs> Come on now. I don't want to lose this. This is important. There we go. Hard part is staying still until it it takes hold. Sometimes it takes it takes longer for it to take a hold. <laughs> Hard to stay still. What? Ah! For goodness sakes, you have the hippie hippie shakes. You turd. Well, I mean, look at the bright side. Version 2.0 will absolutely look better than than 1.0 because they won't have the divots in it. Are you talking about me or are you? <laughs> Dom. Come on, Riley. Come on. <clears throat> Son of a biscuit eater. I, I went from almost completely done, like 99% done, to 50. 50%. Way back. But, I mean, you know, I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what needs to be done. I've already done it one time before, so coming back around on it, it'll be a lot easier. Oh, I know you, I know you do good. Three and a half. Where do you want it to sit on him? Since we're uh, we're getting to look at it again. In your picture here, it's below his obliques. It's very oblique, which is going to be like. Right here under the belt. Uh, get a little pointer here. It's gonna be right here under this this belt. Do you want it to sit like right here where the belt goes? Yeah, you know what? As long as it's like right on the belt line, is fine. The, the yeah, actual so it, belt. It was sitting like right here at the very bottom of it. 
Yeah. But I think in I think it needs to sit like right here in this this void section. So a little bit lower is what you're saying? Well, see, it was here. I think I need to bring it up to here, just for uh, practical purposes, logistical purposes of uh, getting it on him and getting it stable on him. That's fine. Yeah. The name of Hale's asking what body the new saber tooth's on. It's on the Omega Red Warpath body, but it's got new arms. Yeah, they. Holding what they got on that pin, pin knees and stuff. Oh, it's ten o'clock. I can, I can still hear the boy downstairs. <laughs> What is a traditional Easter meal? My wife swears up and down it's ham. Um, depends where you are. A lot of people eat lamb. Pennsylvania. Yeah, like I know. Yeah, a lot of people technically eat like lamb or like maybe a roast or something like that. There's really nothing. Nothing etched in stone, but yeah, a lot of Europeans will eat lamb. We did a pork roast today. Yeah, we did. Lamb is like the gamiest, gamey tasting game that's ever gamed. Spiral cut, sugar glazed ham. That's what I I did. We did a baked ham, a uh, brown sugar ham. It don't taste gamey. Lamb does. Depends how you cook lamb. Oh, I thought you said ham. I I I baked a ham. My wife said ham is the, the way to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not crazy about lamb either. Yeah, I don't like deer meat. That's how anti-game flavor I am. Well, the uh, to do lamb or deer meat properly, you need to do it in a pressure cooker. That gets rid of the gamey gamey taste out of it. I grew up in the 80s, yeah. and so I have PTSD when I think about pressure cooker. <laughs> <laughs> but you get told, like, don't touch it and blow up! <laughs> also, uh, a lot of people use an alcohol with it, like uh, a beer or wine. That helps with the gaminess, too. Lime or, like, lime, gold, yeah, red wine, usually, beer. Yeah, you know what I gotta do to a cow to get it to taste great? Salt Cook it. Pepper. Cook it. Cook it, All right, gentlemen, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go yell at the boy, kick the dog, kiss the wife. You know, the, you know the three more row. Have All a right. good night, sir. Take I care. I'll see, that I'll see you on the next one, but my track record's going down the toilet bowl. We'll talk. <laughs> Have a good night. Now, when uh, cooked right, I like deer meat. But oh, yeah. the only person, only person I've ever known to cook deer meat properly was my mom. But she would do it like a, like I said, she'd do it in a pressure cooker. Yeah. And then she'd uh, bake it afterwards, roast it in the oven. Oh yeah. Um, I've only had deer a couple of times. Last time I had it was well, quite a while ago. A few of my friends uh, went up up north hunting, and they brought back some uh, some deer, and no. they basically just ground it up and made sausages with it. Mm-hmm. That was really good. Now, deer sausage is really good. I like deer sausage. Yeah, and. Uh, Elk is out of this world, though. Yeah, I also had moose steak. Ooh, I never had that. Yeah, my dad brought it home one day. Don't ask me if don't ask me where he got it from. <laughs> I got no, I got no access to the uh, to this chat, eh? 
Oh, I sent you a link beforehand. Did you? To be the admin. I didn't get that. You sent me one for last week. I sent it again uh, about an, uh, an hour before the stream started. Okay, you know what? Let me go check. I haven't, I haven't, uh, I didn't see the the email. Give me a sec. Dear mm -hmm. Jerky, is the shiznit? Yes, sir. No, I didn't get mm -hmm. it. I didn't get a link to it. To the Yahoo one? No. I just got these. I got the stream link that you sent in the messenger. Come on. That's the thing about doing styrene work. It's like you, you need a third hand. <laughs> so I would love to be able yeah. to just put a little bit of uh, instaset on it. It'll bond instantly, but uh, then I have to let go. <laughs> you got you to gotta learn how to use the use your mouth to hold the, uh, the instaset bottle. I gotta get some of that stuff, man. Yeah, it's the only way to work super glue. Uh, so I want to change up a couple of the Hulk heads. I want to like the ones that I I I still haven't opened. I want to add some O rings. I mean, best thing to do is just stack paint, uh, stack glue, and spray, right? I'm resending you the, the admin link. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'm going to have to sign off for a couple minutes. I uh, would love to see Marvel Legends articulated uh, Dark Sider figures, uh, especially War uh, Dark Sider. Uh, let's see. Have y'all seen the Avengers wing jet Hasbro tees? Or do you y'all think it's be the next fig? Or they're doing a Quinn jet that would have to be a Haslab. I didn't see I didn't see the tees though. Put some glue on the styrene. Taking my tool and putting some glue on the styrene strip. That way I can hold it in place. Did you send the link? Yep. Okay, something was wrong because I'm not getting it. Well, this should have got twice. Might want to check your junk mail. I'll check the spam. Got nothing in my spam either. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, why is it going to my spam now? Let me send these.
Okay, give me a few minutes. Okay. There we go. Marvel Legends should make Kane from X Force, uh, especially since they make a lot of Deadpool figures. And I'm not familiar with that character. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised though. The uh, is that all the reveals we got was the one Iron Man way plus the uh, the, the Deadpool and uh, Logan. Yep, it's a WonderCon. I was hoping we would finally see Scar, man. What are they do? What are they waiting for? Yeah, they got more conventions coming up, so I don't want to show all their hands at one time. Yeah. That that Iron Man wave's decent. I d totally didn't recognize that that was the uh, that was Series Eight from the Toy Biz that that Iron Man figure. Yep. Series 8, if I remember. Correctly. I've been wanting a redo of that one for a long time. So, that's welcome for me. I guess people... I guess people were waiting for the classic-looking whiplash. Yep. I Which... No, yeah. What gives me my hopes, though, after revealing all these things, is a... A Mandarin. Because those are all like redos of Toy Biz figures. Yep. Like the old like five inch figures. So. Well, you can almost see it when you look at Count Nefaria and you look at Whiplash. You can almost see that there's a there's a, a Mandarin coming. Yep. If they did a Mandarin in that line. Yeah. Is there any difference to the Deadpool figure other, other than, I don't know, not paint-wise, like, it's the exact same figure, right? They didn't glue the guns in the holsters this time. Yeah, I know, that's the only freaking, that's the only thing, but. Which is nice. It is nice, you can, but I mean. You I can actually get a Deadpool without damaged guns, because you always damage the guns and get them out of those holsters. I just don't know if it's worth getting another one because I got two already. You know what I mean? It's like, what am I? Mm -hmm. You can easily just damage the guns and replace them, right? Like, I mean, instead of buying another figure, it's just cheaper to replace guns. Mm -hmm. 
looks pretty good. Let's talk. Let's talk. Uh, what you're hoping to see at the next con? Hmm. Well, what was on Rectangular's list was like what's coming out. Oh, Jesus, so much. What we were just talking about, I want to see Scar. Yes, definitely. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see an all new Hulk too, but I don't think we're gonna. That's in the. That <sighs> hasn't even been mentioned. Yeah. Wait, there was something that he mentioned regarding Hulk, wasn't there, that we haven't seen yet? I can't remember. Uh, he did mention the Bruce Banner. Oh, there's, a red, there's the Thunderbolts wave. Yeah, no. We get a Red Hulk. I just have a feeling it's going to be a, a, a repaint of the movie Hulk. Probably. Which I'm not crazy about that body. That's it's not, too lean. No, it's not a Hulk body. What kills me is the deco on that body is pure Ragnarok Hulk. The yeah, but the head, have, the head is not though. No. The, the, the pants, I remember making that point when they first showed that figure, but he didn't look as lean when they first showed him. And I was saying how, you know what? That uh, the pants, the, the way the, uh, the, the the damages, like the rips and the, the tears and stuff like that, it was identical to, uh, to the Ragnarok Hulk. So... Mm -hmm. I did a comparison with one of the pictures and it was like exactly the same damage and all. So it's like that thing probably should have been thicker and they probably changed it somewhere along the line. Oh, Johnny Ray's comment, a spider slingers wave would be cool. They would, that would be a cool wave. Uh, regarding uh, Kane from X Force, uh, name with all the same. He used to team up with Cable a lot in the early issues and fought Deadpool. Uh, okay. Tricky parts doing all this without destroying too much paint. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Another thing. Finally, we're probably going to be seeing Colossus. Oh, yeah. The movie Colossus. Yeah. That's another one I'm looking forward to. I, because honestly, it, it, to me, it works as a movie figure and an MC and, and a comic figure because it's, oh, it's yeah. just such uh, They got the look so perfect in the Deadpool movie. Yeah. It's like, why couldn't they do that more often? And, and I'll be honest with you, I really, really like the outfit too. Yep, that red and black outfit looks really good together, or black and red. Plus the combat boots and the, the, like the cargo pants. The, he just, he looks. Like a modern, you know, it's like shit. You can even make an for comics. You can even make a an X Force variant. Oh yeah, that's an easy repaint if you want to get a second figure. Anyways, mm -hmm. I just hope he's a single release and not a build a figure. Yeah, well, I think he's supposed to be a single release. Yeah, I didn't hear anything about that from Rectangular's list. So. I'm not happy with this. Uh... 
yank that side off and redo it. <laughs> uh, this side ended up being a lot cleaner. I didn't like yeah. how it went around the, con the contour there. Oh, trust me, I've known you for years. I knew you were gonna do. You were gonna rip one part of that off. <laughs> well, I'm redoing a nearly finished parts on a nearly finished figure. So. <laughs> What are those three letters again? Uh, <laughs> o, C. Oh, uh, what's the last letter? better right there it's you get my eyeballs back on and drop the styrene in the floor <laughs> <laughs> Fortieth anniversary um, E Man figure. Mm -hmm. Is the is the belt and the uh, the fur a separate piece? I haven't really looked at mine. They're they're usually just one piece. Just paint it. They just paint the belt. Yeah, because I see Don has that uh, Savage E Man with the with the loincloth missing. Is that I didn't know if it came out like the same way. Uh, you gotta work it off. There we go. That looks good. A lot more symmetrical. Symmetry is the thing thing with like when you're working on customs. It's hard. It's easy to get one side. It's getting it to look the same on the other. Oh yeah. Even one of my things with painting eyes back when I used to do it, it was like you finally get that one eye perfect and then you turn around and you look and like now you got to do another one so it's like <laughs> then that's where the problem if you did the first one easily and and it all worked out well you know the second one's going to be a problem Not allowed to lift back up. Oh, it says the master wrist figures waist piece are usually two or three pieces stacked together.
to back here. The belt is a separate piece. Okay, I'm just wondering how. Yeah, how, how am I gonna pull it up? I, the the waist comes apart, not the waist. The uh, Diaphragm, I guess. You can heat them up and work it off the hips, but it's it's a pain in the butt. I may just cut it off. That's why I did when I uh, took my part my savage he man. I just cut it off. Because what I was planning on doing is, well, I'm gonna cut the fur part off. I don't really need it, anyways. When I uh, when Don sends me that stuff, and then I could probably just uh, sand off the those little round nubs on the belt. And he says that he should not have no problem fitting it over the belt. Shit, I could even sand some of the belt down if that's the case. Curve the arch a little bit. you order a lot of the the origin the he-man origin stuff i did <laughs> uh, all the new animated filmation stuff i ordered oh yeah Uh, I mean, so it's, uh, telling me uh, you would have to crack the torso because the lower torso is plugged into the midsection. Um, and the belt and loincloth are like washer held in place. So I'm probably just going to cut off the fur and sand it down. I'm going to be covering it anyways. I don't, I don't want it to have that look you know like it's missing plastic you know how the, right now how that savage he-man looks that don's got 
Yeah. I don't want it to look like that underneath uh, the soft goods. I'd rather just have it sitting on top of something. Now, that looks even. too much instance that eh? yeah plus it goes everywhere when you spritz it and that is kind of a waste yep new color line I shaved down these areas too where that I was looking at it's like I didn't like it because it's over emphasizes this uh, uh, wrist bone or the, or the end of your forearm here yeah it was like really bulging now it's like eh, that's it's getting on my nerves it's like no I don't like that so I shave those down now to mix up some uh, epoxy Hey, Quiros, enjoy your Sunday. Love your wonderful job customizing action figures. Like, welcome. Thank you very much, sir. And welcome to the channel. Always nice to see a new name pop up, eh? Yep. It's always great to see. I love seeing the community grow. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> Part B. Wayne, I just always just eyeball it out. Just and thank you, everybody in the chat, coming out, hanging out for us tonight. Episode 95 tonight. Wow. Already, eh? I know. Speaking of which, if anyone's listening, we, we, we still haven't hashed out the details, which is going to be a, another uh, thank you stream coming up one of these Saturdays. Mm hmm. We're going to do a giveaway. I got, uh, I got some figures lined out, and Don's going to contribute to one of his custom. Uh, Scarlet Spiders in full body suit, which is an awesome looking figure. Oh yeah. I got I 
Oh, Lauren is it? Yeah. Uh, he man talk reminds me of the Kazar coming in the summer. Recently picked up a couple of McFarlane white out uh, white white suit jokers from Ross. Uh, six bucks for a saddle. Probably some uh, build a figure horse. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. For a pterodactyl, if I can, uh, it can be fit on. Oh wow. Slap it on a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Johnny Ray Herbert says, hanging with the fan. Family, 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 family. There you go. I've done that for a while. <laughs> I'll try out some new uh, shoes for the figure two and say like the art the more medieval knight looking uh ones i had on there yeah uh, the age of ultron not age of ultron uh marvel select ultron oh wow uh, that looks good i need to send them down and like uh do a little bit of fitting on them then crumb them up i like them because plus they got the tech details on the bottom they fit the character better i think Problem is, you can't really do too many of those unless you buy a ton of those Marvel Celeste's. <laughs> Which they're not that badly priced right now, like you'll lose. I got look at them online. Yeah. Well, a lot of people prefer the Marvel Legends size. I don't mind having yeah. one. I kind of look at my select as the leader. Mm -hmm. Which I can put these on the. On the Ultron, not not even have to worry about it. Yeah. Which yeah, these look good. these look nice, but they're too medieval knight looking. How uh, how do you like the? Uh, I might be a little bit too out there, but the Marvel Legend, uh, remember the first Ultron that was like you can get a bunch of those. Oh yeah, the I got a few of those. So that was on the Iron Man three wave. Yeah, I know you have to. You're gonna have to uh, make them into compatible with uh, ankle pivots, but because they weren't pivot, right? They were the old-fashioned ankle style. Yeah, they just hinged and they rotated. Yeah, I wonder if those would look good as like a more modern. Probably not. They look kind of funky, if I remember correctly. And plus, they got to be proportional too with the this bigger body. True, those look kind of small. Laura, the origin scale flip wars since the last few hours, and they're about to hit about 13k short of 200k that would uh, unlock extra accessories. That's done surprisingly well. That's a lot for it's a kind of a parody figure. Which one is it? It's the uh, they make the um, Mad Hatter and another channel. Uh, I can't remember his name. Jay something other. Mm -hmm. They're working with Ramen Toys. They're doing a Kickstarter for a Origins type figure. It's basically uh, okay. making fun of uh, scalpers. Okay. <clears throat> Mega J, I can't remember his screen name. Johnny Ray Hubert. If uh, they end up doing a comic book Eternals wave, who would you want to see in the first wave? I'm not too familiar with the Eternals. Well, 
the most popular two Eternals, they were, they're really done them already. It was Cersei and Icarus. Icarus is coming out. The rest of them, I don't know anything about. I never, I got almost 8,000 comic books. I don't have the first Eternals book. Does Cersei is the, is that the one that came with Black, uh, Black Knight? With, uh... And the one I had her completely rebuild. Let's see. Put her on that really skinny, lame body. Yeah. I didn't, re I didn't realize that's, I don't know why I didn't put two and three there. I didn't think that was actually the same as the Eternal Cersei. Yeah, uh, Cersei was uh, in the Avengers <laughs> in the 90s, 80s, late 80s and 90s. And that was her look then. Yeah, and now you got Icarus in his classic look. So, I mean, it kind of, those two don't really fit in with each other. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't think they're gonna. You think they're gonna go through with the whole wave of Eternals? No, no, they're they're probably testing the water with Icarus. They 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 put a lot of money in that Icarus mold, and they did a lot of new tooling for that, which I was really surprising with how horrible the movie stuff was. I figured they would actually like shy away from doing anything Eternals. Yeah. Uh, name with health says they should make a 90s Nomad. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have been mentioning Nomad in, for a while, so you never know. Uh, Laurie says Mad Hatter and Mega J Retro. Okay, started, cool. Yeah, it started as a joke. Uh, but Ace at Ramen Toys can make it happen. Yes, he can. Yeah, I don't think they actually thought that was going on. Fun. <laughs> it, it is a ridiculous concept, but and they fund it and had to like come up with all these extras. <clears throat> You'd be surprised by what, by what people want, right? Yeah. It's even got like uh, flipping off thing, uh, hands for, for stretch goals. <laughs> <sighs> I'm trying to think of what else I want to see from Marvel Legends. Well, Ghost, Ghost Rider related stuff. Hulk, more Hulk, oh. Hulk uh, sporting characters. We need a Rick Jones. Yeah, well. It's you know, kind of it's kind of ridiculous. We don't have a Rick Jones. I know. Through all the years of toy biz and all these years now of, of Hasbro, not one Rick Jones. <laughs> He's good thing, man. He is one of like the flagship uh, flagship sidekick characters of the Marvel universe. He's been a sidekick to everybody. He's been the tie. Uh, Bond it with uh, Guinness Vale with the mega bands. He would uh, kind of basically like Donald Blake and Thor. Yeah, and he's been he's been uh, he's been he's been the Hulk. He's been a bomb, yeah. and now he's dead. He's been they a Hulk supporting character for so many years. He's been yep. in a, with the Avengers. He's been. With genus, uh, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Actually, he's even in the Maestro storyline. Yep. His grand granddaughter was the uh, the redheaded girl. Yeah. Can't remember her name right off. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to think of it right now, but it won't come until we're we're done talking about the. Yep. But yeah, I mean, like he's been there through through everything, especially like I mean, such an important character. I, I, you know, what'd be nice? What we mentioned about the how many times we said an A bomb and, and Rick Jones two pack. But you know what? I would wouldn't mind seeing even before. Well, not before that. You know, I prefer the Hulk characters and whatnot. But I mean, bef before he was A bomb, he was merged with. Uh, uh, Genus Bell, so mm -hmm. maybe a, a two pack with them too. You know what I mean, or make it a three pack. 
Well, what you could do too is actually make do a Rick Jones have them actually have different head sculpts and different looks, and give them like the uh, wristbands, like that. They have them be removable. Yeah, you could do that, but I mean, because they haven't given us a proper genus, other than that one from the uh, Captain Marvel movie, which isn't really even. It's not even recognizable as one of his main looks. It's yeah. So I mean, you t- would you buy a three pack of of a uh, of a comic looking uh, Rick Jones? Uh, if they can give us a Venus Veil on a Vulcan body, yeah, with and do like the, like the translucent head and stuff like they did with Toy Biz, I don't, I totally buy that. Yeah, and shit, if you wanted to even make it a three pack and throw an A bomb in there, I take it, make it like a, a Rick Jones yeah. thing, you know? Yeah, I'd be good. I'd be down with that. Yeah, I'd buy that three pack all day long. Uh. Larry says maybe Storm Collectibles losing the Mortal Kombat license will open the door for uh, Jada Toys to do figures. I even settled for McFarlane doing MK2 figures. Ridiculous. Uh, is SC not released? Uh, Storm Collectibles not releasing Katana and five easy repaints. Yeah. Yeah, they they mishandled that pro- license. Their product is, is like very expensive man expensive and not in scale with anything <laughs> yeah they call it a 112 scale line and it's closer to 110 scale but but their scale actually goes is all over the place yeah they even the DC figures uh, they overscaled some of them as well like didn't they do a? They did a Bane, didn't they? He, yeah, yeah, he's overscaled. Oh, well, McFarlane overscaled. There's to his too. So. Yeah, oh, uh, McFarlane doesn't really care about scale. He just makes whatever. Yeah, um, <laughs> but I mean, to make Bane almost twelve. 12 inches compared to a 7 inch Batman like that's yeah I don't like when they try to do the Bane like the Hulk he's not the Hulk you don't get I like the original incarnation the Bane the best or Nightfall and he was just he's a big dude yeah and the Venom made him stronger and more muscular but he wasn't a Hulk sized character. It doesn't grow from it. And I don't like the when they start turning the lizard in not the lizard, the well, it's basically turning Killer Croc into the lizard. Or he's got he's more reptilian. He's just a big dude with a he started out as just based on somebody with an actual real life they based it on like a skin condition people can get. Yeah. Yeah, Larry says uh, Storm Collectibles being a dark side are about the size of McFarlane's mega figure for being a dark side. Yeah, and the dark side, okay, dark side, uh, uh, not dark side, sorry, Doomsday, right? Did Storm make a. Did Storm make dark side? No. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's Doomsday we're talking about because, yeah, I know Storm made Doomsday. Uh, Doomsday can be that big, but I mean, Bane, McFarlane and Storm Collectibles overdid him. Like I mean, his size is way too big, in my opinion. Like we said, he should be like a jacked. I could see his body getting like more muscular and and, and swole, but I mean, yeah, he... to actually grow, I don't see the Venom making a person grow like that. Uh, name with health storm collectibles is to 110 scale what Marvel Legends is to 112 yeah I think it's a little bit more it's a little bit bigger than 112 uh, 110 scale it's probably like what would you call that a 111 no not a 111 no, 111 is like what Marvel Legends so it's be like a, almost a 19 scale 19 yeah 111 Marvel Legends is not 112 either they're not they're not as big as uh one a scale which is like beast kingdom stuff 
Yeah. So yeah, I'd, I'd say one nine. That, I like that. That, call it, that looks better to me. Change up in the design. No, it does look good. Okay, Laurie says Storm did do Dark Side. Uh, I have I have the figure. Some GameStops had him for sale years ago. I'm trying to remember how. Yeah, they they did the uh, fighting fighting game one, the uh, DC versus Mortal Kombat. Yeah. They did Doomsday and Dark Side in that game style. Yeah. Now that now that he's saying it, I I I, I kind of remember. I'm just trying to remember what he looks like now. That looks much better. That's another thing too with Dark Side. Dark Side is like I don't know. Like I don't I I don't mind him being huge. Well, what we see as Dark Side is not truly his body. In the comics. Oh yeah. He's, I'd have to read up on again exactly what it is. He's is actually basically an entity type being. <laughs> Larry says Google is your friend. Yeah, once I'm in, once I'm on here, if I get off to go to Google, it starts to get all wacky, and I have to I have to reboot it after. So I'll check later. But yeah, guys like Darkseid and Doomsday, I don't mind they're big like that, but Bane, no. Bane's yeah. like, he's a human being. Mm-hmm. Put some ball bearings in, in these paint jars, help shake it up. That's a good idea. They actually, uh, when I was buying replacement paint bottles, and they actually come up as a thing you do is that you can buy us to go with them with the ball bearings that go into paint bottles. finer tip brush so I can do the edge work. Yeah. I'm one post away on Instagram to be a thousand post. Oh wow. Nine nine nine. <laughs> some painting this week.
we got the Thursday show. You can be painting on that. And who will, who will attend the cust uh, the questions? Uh, I'll, I'll let that slide. Uh, I'll let you out of painting, man. Oh, I could take a break from customizing. I'll watch the kid. I'll watch the chat. And you paint. I don't have a setup like you. I'd have to use my phone. I just keep hearing excuses. It's like ah, I'm not going. <laughs> You'll get pictures. You'll get pictures of updates. So. Actually, gotta get some. Need to borrow somebody's acetone or a nail polish remover. What you need to remove? The Hulk paint. <clears throat> you know, you can actually use a clear nail polish to remove paint. Yeah, it's got acetone in it, right? Yep. Plus, it doesn't run everywhere. You just. paint on the clear nail polish then take a q-tip off and just rub it off and it takes the paint with it well that's insane that's a lot of paint to take off that hulk though <clears throat> the winter newton works a little better for lots of when you get a lot of paint to take off The Outback was it? Uh, was it a? It took a lot, a lot for the the knockoff. Oh, the knockoff Outback. Yeah, I can't remember. Oh, I got to reposition my leg. It's going to sleep. <laughs> All right, that's my problem too. I'm sitting on a wooden chair. <laughs> You need to get yourself a damn chair already. A good customizing chair. You're all, you're spending a lot of time there. I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take donations to get you a chair. <laughs> Need one of those video gaming chairs, man. This uh, this bar, this wet bar, man. It's just a weird height. Is there's the thing about getting like, a comfortable chair? <clears throat> I made a joke about that, I'm saying I need to. Get, it's telling my wife to. I need to get myself a comfortable chair. You know, you see those gamer chairs that's got everything. It just basically looks like you're lying down. I said, holy shit, I, if I got one of those, I wouldn't be doing any customizing. I'd be sleeping. I saw this real pop up today. He's like, how to fall, the, uh, fall asleep in a chair? Be old, sit in it. <laughs> I remember saying that when I was younger, I used to see my dad take a nap while he was sitting down, you know, goes to watch the TV, sits down on the couch, ends up taking a nap, and it's like, how do you sleep sitting up? I know that all too well now. Yeah, I was like, I can do that real easy now.
I'd like to be able to just glance up and see where my paints are and just go oh, and need that color. <laughs> yeah, I was even saying that's the time we were talking about this figure that you're painting here. It's like it's so easy for Hasbro to actually just redo it into another Hulk Buster. But, Thor Buster. Thor Buster, yeah, but you know what? Don doesn't have to worry because there's no way it's going to be like this one. I mean, I don't even see them. You know how you had to remove all the spikes from the side? I don't see them actually doing that. They would just leave them. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, well, you think they're going to waste money on new tooling? They're just going to re-release the, the figure, but in gold and red. Different head. Probably put a repulsor, put a little repulsor in front, and they'll call it done. That's good. Nice and smooth. By far the best gold paint I've ever worked with. Much as I love testers paint, their gold sucked. They had different shades, right? It it's more a bronzy looking color than anything than gold. I found it I did find a good use for it though. What'd you do with it? Use it for eyes. Oh, really? Yep. Brown eyes. I want you to you do paint the, the iris. Uh, paint the brown, the iris, then do half the iris in that metallic gold, which is kind of a brownish tone to it. Yeah. It <clears throat> pulls off like a refre for, uh, reflections in the eye. So you don't have to do the white? You don't have to. You, it looks... The white tool just make it look a little bit even better, but you don't really hardly need to do that. Once you put the gloss on there, yeah, it work. It picks up like a reflection, like a regular real eye, which the white is just mimicking that. What do you use for gloss? Testers. I got some. I got some half a bottle of Testers Clear left. And after that, I don't have no more. I got a bottle and a half of semi gloss, and about half a bottle of flat. they use but there's another guy that I, I used to see him customize I mean, he uses something for the eyes I can't remember what it is to, to, to make them shine it's not a clear paint it's a I don't know shit I, I have to tr try looking up one of his videos for that but it does give the eyes like the wet look mm-hmm <clears throat> Getting 
closer. a lot better after I smooth it back out. It was rough. It seamed through here. Yeah. It was on deep on both sides. Like the, the molding lines were deeper than they should have been. How much more you got left to do on this thing? Uh, basically, finish painting a few more coats of gold on these parts here. Do the red on the leg. That's it. And then seal it up, start sealing it up. Nice. Once I seal it though, it, I'll see some uh, thin spots in the gold and I'll have to go back and touch up, which I'm doing on this foot. Yeah. Even, though it look like, look, even though it looks like I'll have like full coverage, the clear will show any uh, Thin spots in the in the gold. <clears throat> yeah. It's like I got a little spot there too. I need to sand out. You know what I used to do? I used to take pictures of when I thought I was finished, and then I would just blow, like blow up the pictures, and for some reason they can see even the slightest dot that you may have. If the paint's a little too thin. Oh yeah. And the thing is a lot of times because you blow up the picture and then when you actually go look at the actual custom you can't even see it so you have a hard time finding it oh yeah it's like sometimes the pictures stuff that you can't you yep. can't even get to this is my last of my custom mix uh, tester. I found some more testers clear, but I've you not know, clear of uh, flesh tones I've been using. Use to mix this stuff up. Yeah. So, uh, we'll be able to go a little bit for longer. I did mix it. I did get a close mix using the those pro acryls, those new paints I got. Yeah. I see, I'll mix something pretty close to this. New racks I got for my paint and brushes. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. having a scramble try to f spend five hours looking for the right color of paint <laughs> i still i could actually use probably about two more of these racks oh yeah <clears throat> that's one of the worst things about customizing is having to if you don't have a good setup, having to look for your stuff before you start. Oh, yeah. 
You know how many times I said, "Oh, I got, I got a little bit of time. I'm gonna do some customizing." And then I go try to get everything set up, and then I get so frustrated because I can't find certain stuff. And by the time you actually get everything together, you you lose it. You're like, you know what? I'm not in the mood anymore. <laughs> I think that's going. We're past the two hour mark, and I think that's going to call it for the night. Yeah, um, we got our Thursday stream, uh, whip it stream this week. It's last week we was off week. We got it back this week. Of course, we did do a Thursday show this week for impromptu. The more of a there's so much toy news, we had to talk about toy news. Yeah, it was fun. But everybody in the chat, thank you again for hanging out with us tonight. And anytime you have any questions about customizing, always feel free to ask in the chat. We'll try to answer your best we best we can. And we'll see y'all next time. Have a good one, guys. Have a good one.